Yo, rain's going off, bro. <laughs> Look at this guy <laughs> with the M249. <laughs> oh, shit. Put their attention away from the rest of the teams here because they want the rest of the teams to focus each other. Whereas the INSCs, they're going to try to sneak in towards the circle. However, the circle is going to push them in as of now. But oh, oh. Nico! Nico! What, what a shot! Headshot from that range with the M4 instantly taken down one of the players there from INS as they're trying to rotate inside the circle. And Chica there, just on the left as well, trying to do some more damage. As it's going to be more players, it's going to be dropping like flies in from INS. Smoker goes down, x rain as well, trying to finish off the job onto Cartoons. He's going for the run over kill. Oh my goodness! He doesn't quite get it. And Nika's going to finish him off as well. INS are going to be eliminated out in fourth. And now Party Gaming are collecting even more placement points here because look at Az just there. In the foreground, behind everyone, just unbeknownst to both these teams, Footballers and Tempo Storm are having it out right now in the open. Oh, I like this cover fire coming from Tempo. However, footballers, they have the advantage with the shelter as well as the barricades that they work with. Tempo Storm, they have the high ground. They are on the small edge of the circle, but they have to force footballers to play on the same playing field right now. It's 3v2 situation from Tempo Storm, and they're kind of stuck in the small tree here. And footballers, if they capitalize this year, they will be able to come up on top. Oh, we've seen Ooh. some incredible M4 sprays, but it doesn't quite work out in the favor of Zesty as he does go down to I believe that was one of the players there from Tempo Storm just behind us, behind the vehicle, using that as cover. As maybe they can try and throw a smoke down to try and revive Nick. This seems so risky. I'm not sure why they're taking these chances because this is going to be down to one player now. Chica, the only player that isn't down for Tempo. And there's still two players at least. Yeah, two players remaining for footballers. So, two versus one. As Lo Lo Lover Zin does go down eventually, as he was down, two versus one here, unless Chica can go for the revive, but it's such a big risk to go for. Does he try and press on the fact that footballers are trying to revive? And he will go for it! <gasps> My goodness, Tempo Storm, take that one! Unexpected, two versus one, but he pressed at the perfect time and eliminated them. What a clutch there coming in from Chica. I did not expect that at all. A little bit small mistakes here coming from uh, footballers. Like, they had the operated 2 v one situation. They know he was kind of out there, but how? How did he spot it? That was like a pixel of him proning his ground with the ghillie suit. He scouted him out and took him out. What a clutch here coming from Tempo Storm. And I did not expect this. A 180 degree shift here coming from Tempo Storm because in the first three games, you see he was struggling. got the winners. We got Nico, we got Chica. We want to hear what they have to say, so let's go over to them. Thank you guys so much here. And of course, here I have the winners from the previous match. We have Tempo Storm, we have Nico with me on my left here, and also Chica at the end here. And uh, Nico, how are you feeling about getting a chicken dinner? Pretty good, bro. Pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, I have to ask this here. It feels like Tempo Storm felt like a 180 degree shift here in terms of the play styles here from game one. From game one all the way to now, you guys were having a really rocky start. And now, coming into this game, getting the chicken dinner, and also 18 kills. One of the highest kill volume in a game here. What did you guys do off the break there? Uh, you know, we kind of confirmed up our drop spots, made sure we were good on that, and cleaned up our comms as well. Just made sure we were crisp, and uh, made sure we were fast in zone. That's basically it. Oh yeah, I can see Chica was kind of like excited as well. Um, you know, that one we, you know, that final moment here, it was like a 1v2 situation against uh, INS as well. Uh, I know footballers, and in that situation, yeah, what was going through your mind? How did you were able to clutch that here, Chica? I just seen bodies and that's it. All right, simple, clean. I like that here coming from Tempo Storm. And Nico, you know, now coming to this game here, uh, you, we can see all these play styles being made from all these teams. What do you think of the other region's play style compared to the North American scene? I think that Southeast Asia is pretty insane. I think they're really, they're really good. I think that uh, Pigatron, Mega, I think they're great teams. But um, I think in the end, I think our play style is going to win it out. Okay, so, you know, if I were to give you it's like a top three situation, I mean the top three teams that you want to beat, um, would Bigatron and also Mega be in the net as well? Yeah, I would say so. Who will be the third team for you guys? What do you think? Omen. Yeah, Omen. Omen. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of split votes here from all these teams so far. But uh, as of now, I have to ask this one question for you guys as well. Um, last but not least, you know, I have to ask is that were you kind of like excited that you guys had this rivalry match against Mega Conquer? From game one, they were the first teams to knock you guys out. 
Now you kick them out right off the bat as a return here in the map. Aaron Gill, is it like a rivalry going on between you guys and Mega Conqueror? I don't know if it's a rivalry, so, so to say, but I think that uh, when we knocked one, I think we knew we had to finish that up. All right, all right, all right. Uh, last but not least here, anything you want to say towards the fans who support or families here who are supporting you all the way from home? Well, shout out to Monica first. She's the best manager you could ask for. And uh, thanks to all the fans that support us through all this. It's been a great experience. All right, all right. That's pretty much here from Nico and Chica. Once again, my name is ICBB12, and that's pretty much an interview for game number four. We're going to take it which means that if they go for the push, it could be risky. They push on in, go out wide. One goes down for Victory 5. Hung now trying to stay alive in this shack as the four players from Tempo swarm around. Chica now right up to the edge. The smoke is in. They go in, try to go for the spray, get it done. And Tempo eliminate Victory 5. Now alive, Schrider makes it through the doorway, tries to stop the confirmation, but walks into the line of fire. He will go down. They should be able to get another one. Beautiful firefights coming out from Tempo Storm right now, but they're low. They need to rethink. They need to regroup. Nico might want to come in and back them up here, but Detonators have the windows. See if he goes in, goes down, as well as Tempo still trying to make it happen. One more to go. They're looking for the spray. Goes Ooh. for the trade, but no. Major Alpha stays alive. A sliver of HP. Tempo Storm still in it. Nico on the outside. An Alpha Chad play just running in like that. With no care in the world, sure the synergy players will be confirmed, but Major Alpha coming back in again. Spec so low on the floor. He's looking to go for the res. He he is up, and they will get it out. Major Alpha, he's caught with an aid oh. in his hand. It is out. Will they be able to scramble in time? Position for Team IND to move in. The question is, do BTR know they're here? IND and Tempo Storm, the two teams we're looking at in this. Despite all this, really good third party. He's going to get this replay now. Oh, look at Nico the go. The 1v3. One, two. Doesn't take a lick of damage. Look at that. Damn. As we have one player from party team as well. Party gaming just on above. See if we've seen so much action from Omen Elite so far, but they haven't been able to get the flush draw and kill all four members. But right now, it's going to be Tempo getting up close versus the likes of Omen Elite. So far for Tempo, they've been so strong, taking out two full squads and losing no members in the process. Near perfect performance so far from members. They are leading the, the, the field in terms of kills at 11, and they're going to be making it 12 as well as they take out Spring. Now it's going to be Tempo Storm versus Mega. We see three players here from Mega. I'm not sure if they've lost a player earlier on. They have actually. Rod Fiat is down, so it's going to be a three versus four here. Tempo have the advantage. They're going to be coming from two different angles as well. Two here from the rear, and then two from the front as well, as it's going to be stone caught in the open. You need to be in quarry. Why would you be there? And they were just caught off guard here. So oh. it's just unfortunate. However, Tempo Storm. Tempo Storm making a mockery here of Asterion as they're going to go two for zero so far. Actually, all the players are alive currently for them. As it's going to be X-Rain here with the Mac 10 Not really the weapon you want to have at hand versus a plethora of players in the opposition. So they are going to be in close proximity. That Mac 10 up close, excuse me, is going to do so much damage here versus the players of Asterion. Is they going to be wiped clean here? This is our Airbnb. That we are staying at. What the? Come here. Somebody wanna save me? Come, I'm stay work. I'm gonna, cause I sleep with no clothes on, my boy. This is a Oh, I 
These are new banners, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a tag on. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. So how much was it originally? How much were they? Yeah. Like 15 bucks? No, how much ring A was it originally? How much did you haggle it down to? It was 80. 65. How, you could have gone for half of that. Damn. I could have got you that for 30. I could have got you those for 30. They're going to be mad. They yeah, that's mad. good. When when you walk no, away no with the, boys are gonna be mad. When you walk away with them mad, that's that's the best part. Best part. Yeah. Are you ready to go up the KL Tower? No. Ready guys? <laughs> Hello. That's our skybox number. This is like Keychains <laughs> from KL Tower souvenir shop, and we actually bought out the shop. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the KL Tower Mini Zoo. We're gonna look at some animals. I just think you You debated it. Gave me a little bit of a red paint, red and white paint, and then a flower to wear here. We made it all the way to the very top. Take a look at this. We have a temple up here.
It's a baby. You got two of them. Okay, ready? Uh, where did this go? Oh, 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 it's over there, look. Where, where? Over there. Oh, fuck! Can you see it? Where'd it go? It's over there, look. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude! I don't know if you can see it. It's like over that blue one right now. Oh my god. Bro! Bro! My airplane's way better than yours. I'm gonna throw airplane! <laughs> oh. What is that? Fly, Jimmy! Fly! <laughs> <laughs> bro, Monica's not in like over there on the street, bro. <laughs> Yo, that was sick. The one time I found, it was like Static was playing with Keely. And I think. Excuse you. Too fast. Oh my god, how many was that? How many was that? What the fuck? Do you know how to pop your gum? Ignoring us. Back at me, ain't no game. I ain't you know never seen nobody ignoring him. She could got a mean crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Chica got a mean crackhead game. I got that crackhead strength, brother. Chica got some mean short and game. Snort. Where, where <laughs> what? Is it at? Where the bell? Who do I got a mean game for? Getting ready. Monica got a mean excuse you game. I ain't never heard nobody say excuse you more than a thousand times in the day, bro. Did I say excuse me or excuse you? Excuse you? Oh, like when you do something excuse like- Excuse you! You do something like super annoying. I'm like, excuse you. Yeah, like if you like if you try to uh, take something away from her. Oh snap! Excuse so, you. <laughs> <laughs> so every time every time she annoys me or anyone annoys me close to her, I'll be like, excuse you. <laughs> kind of a uh, what kind of grip do you like on a M4? Thumb and a half. On an M4, half. Why half? I would just feel good with the hat. Why not full grip? Why not what? Full grip. Full grip? What Instead of mean? a half grip. They're all like, oh, come here, watches, watches. Or they, they'd be like, oh, I like your hair. You know, like they were telling me that, like multiple okay. times. So I love my chips. I was like this. But my, my new balance is on. <laughs> like a mighty. Nah. But they were they, like the guys who were selling the stuff. They were like, "Bro, we want to buy this off you. We want to buy this off you." And I'm like, "What? My chips?" <laughs> and then they started laughing. And then they're like, and "Then they're like, watch your step, watch your step." And I'm like, "No, I got something for you, bro. <laughs> I got something for you, all day, bro." And then and then he looked. They all looked, and I was like, "You got the bag." They all laughed at you, right? Yeah, they all laughed. <laughs> Come on, bro. That shit's. No, 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 that's good. I'll do it, I'll do it. You're gonna put your cream on my cream. And then you're gonna put some on. Do I put some on my eyebrows? I'll take it out. <laughs> yeah, you put it all over. Like a lot? Like everywhere. A lot, a lot? Yeah. Ooh. 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 It's like. Tea, you're supposed to put it in. Ew! Ew! I know what it feels like, Monica. I know. Dude, it gets like all of your dead skin on. Ew. What, bro? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>
jacket, so to the crowd.